Hey everyone, it's Nikki. So today I'm doing a Lauren Conrad inspired look. It's just very, very simple. It's not, you know, one of her red carpet looks. This is kind of like her everyday look that she always sticks to, that you, you know, you always see her wearing in those magazines or whatever. So I hope you guys like it. Okay, so I'm going to prime my eye with um, Paint Julie Paint Pop. Just using my finger. So like a really long time ago, like in Lauren Conrad's Laguna Beach times, um, I heard her do an interview. I heard her in an interview and someone asked her, you know, what is she for her makeup? What does she wear? And um, I remember her saying that she doesn't like eyeshadow. She doesn't like the feeling of eyeshadow on her lids. And you can kind of tell in a lot of, um, you know, pictures of her. She's not really wearing, um, a she's not really wearing any eyeshadow at all. Maybe a little bit, but not really, you know, unless she's going to, you know, a fancier event. But on her, you know, everyday basis look, she doesn't really wear eyeshadow. So I'm just going to use, you know, paint or the paint on my lid, and then I'm just going to do a little bit of a highlight in the inner corner of, this, of my eye. I'm using vanilla pigment. Now this one um, kind of broke, and now there's nothing left of it really in the pan, but there's just enough, you know, for me to use for this tutorial, so I'm going to do that. Just taking a little brush and getting a little bit of that. I'm just going to put that in the inner corners of my eye to brighten those. I'm adding just whatever is left on the brush right under the brow, just as a little bit of, you know, um, just to differentiate, you know, between the lid part and the highlight, just to add a little bit of shimmer. So for her signature liquid eyeliner look, you can either use a, you know, liquid liner or a gel eyeliner. For me personally, I find this Lancome Art Liner the easiest out of every liquid eyeliner that I own to use, so I'm going to use this today, but you know, you can use, um, uh, black Chalk Fluid Line. I know Maybelline has um, gel eyeliners, so does L'Oreal, so you can find something. And then also like a, a dupe for this would be the L'Oreal Art, not the L'Oreal Art Liner, <laughs> the L'Oreal um, Linear Intense or whatever it's called. So I'm just going to do a nice line of this. If you have, you know, trouble with doing liquid eyeliner, I highly suggest you get this this um, Lancome Art Liner. I do like it better than the L'Oreal one only because it is darker. I'm not just saying that because, you know, I do like higher ends better, but I'm really just saying that because that is the honest truth. It is darker and um, I just like it better, but you know, if you can't afford it, then definitely get the, get the L'Oreal one. Now at the outer, outer edge, I'm just going to do her signature little flick. Okay, so just like that. It's nothing, you know, too intense. Her her flick at the outer edge is very um, understated. It's not, like, huge. It's not, you know, unnoticeable. It's just enough to be noticeable, but not too much. It's very nice. I like it. I love how she does her little flick. All right, so that is just her simple um, signature eye makeup. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes. She always has, like, pretty nice long lashes. I'm sure she wears, you know, little individual um, fake ones, at least on the outer corner. So I'm going to use this um, Urban Decay Eyelash Primer Potion. I haven't used this in a while. I used to be obsessed with it, but it works really well. And for mascara, I'm going to use uh, my L'Oreal um, Collagen Mascara. This one gives me nice long lashes. I'm taking my feline and just getting a little bit on my brush. And then she usually has some sort of um, eye brightener in the inner lower rim, so I'm just going to use um, my Stila Eye Kajal in Topaz. Alright, so for an under eye concealer slash brightener, I'm using Purple Labs Luxury Squared. I'm just going to take the yellow one, only because I think this is perfect for her because this leaves a little bit of a dewy finish under the eyes, and she's kind of all about the dewy finish. I'm going to use this Mario Badescu Oil Control Moisturizer. Um, it's my first time trying it, so we'll see how it goes today. It's like this really weird, um, pinky, really thick consistency. Is it pink? Yeah. My favorite color? Yeah. Isn't that funny? And then I'm going to use a tinted moisturizer, which gives me a nice little bit of glow. Um, this is the Laura Mercier one in the color Sand. Um, she always has like a nice, 
pretty sheer I feel like she has a pretty sheer coverage because I feel like she does have a you know good skin um, underneath the makeup but I could be wrong I don't know so I'm going to use tinted moisturizer today I know that this looks really orange going on but it really blends out to be not orange at all my Sephora platinum airbrush brush All right, so I'm adding um, a little bit more of the Luxury Square, just a touch under the eyes, just to brighten that a little bit more. Then I'm going to take some of the highlighting side, which is the, you can't really see it, the purple one right here. Highlight my cheeks. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is very, you know, foolproof. She's very um, dewy every time you see her on the red carpet or whatever. She always has a gorgeous dewy look that I like strive for every day. <laughs> a lot of times she'll have like a nice little bronzy contour color. I'm going to use um, this amazing cosmetics bronzer. I like it because it's matte. And I'm using a 138 from MAC. Just a really little bit of that. Just right, you know, over here. <laughs> Underneath your cheekbones. Using the same brush, I'm going to take a an actual bronzer that has a little bit of shimmer in it. I'm just using NARS Laguna, and this is just going to use. I'm mean, going to use this to warm up my cheeks a little bit. Same brush, and this just goes kind of um, a little bit higher than the last one. So I think this is a really perfect um, Lauren Conrad blush. It's called Nuance and it's from MAC. It's limited edition, but it's just sort of like a um, nice peachy color. I, I think it's nice because it has that little golden touch to it. And she's she definitely has uh, more warm tones always on her cheeks. Well, I guess sometimes she does pinker colors. But I feel like she does a lot of, you know, corally, um, bronzy, warmer tone, like golden colors. I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining that. But that's what I think. So I'm just going to take that and then a little 165 from MAC. And then for my lips, I'm also going to keep it really, really simple. I'm just using Greek Holiday from NARS Lip Gloss. It's um, a golden shimmery color. I feel like it's a really, really good Lauren Conrad color. And that is it for this tutorial. I'm just keeping it really clean, very Lauren Conrad-esque, pretty beachy and corally. So I hope you guys like this look, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.